Hello, welcome everybody. So, to mix things up a little bit, uh, today we're going to be doing a drawing with the pen, uh, an ink pen, on a piece of paper. And I, I'm not going to be drawing anything specific, nothing in particular, just kind of letting uh, the thoughts and images flow through my mind in any order they like, any shape and image. Sometimes I'm inspired. These things, the things like the ones that pop up in this video in particular, are inspired by things like rocks. I really like, um, I should, maybe I should research rocks a little more, but, you know, you go on a hike or something, and you see, like, I like the, I like rocks with lots of little pock marks in them. I don't know, is that, is that from, like, lots and lots of years of erosion, or is that from, like, volcanic activity or something? There's lots of different types of rocks out there. What types of things uh, inspire you guys? Because you can let me know. Because a lot of people ask what inspires me, and I don't always have a good answer for it. Because I, I feel like there's not one specific thing I can point to. I try to be inspired by as many things as possible. I feel like that's a good thing to, to aim for. Right? Because you can be inspired by... Um, you know, feelings. It doesn't have to be like something you look at. You can be inspired by feelings. Like you can say you get inspired when you feel lonely or when you feel like you're in love or when you feel hungry, that can be inspiring. Or you can say you get inspired by looking at specific artists or other drawings, or maybe when uh, you listen to certain types of music, or maybe when you go to a specific place, whether it's your bedroom or, or a park or um, a cemetery. There's a really nice cemetery here in town. That's, it's like all the stuff there is very ornate, and the, the the shrubberies are nice and stuff like that. Or the beach, the mountains. Sometimes going to the city, like just like a downtown city, is very nice. Like looking at a forest from far away sometimes isn't doesn't look all that different from looking at a big crowd of people from far away, or a like a, like a field of grass or a very pockmarky rock can look very similar to the side of a building because buildings are made of rocks. Anyways, you know what I'm saying? Like you can get in inspiration from a lot of different things or what does inspiration mean for, for you and where do you get it? What do you see? What do you experience that suddenly makes you think, oh, I have this urge to draw it. I, I know how to pick up the pen and paper whenever I want, right? But what actually makes me want to, you know, like, all this stuff out on the paper and make something appear there that wasn't there before? One powerful thing, I think, is to just begin. Because I know you can begin without having an idea. Even if it's just beginning, you see, like, one thing you can do is set your, you know, if you're like, I want to draw, but I don't know what to draw, set up a big piece of paper, your main piece of paper that you want to work on. You know, everyone has different, you know, setups and uh, methodologies for art making. But then if you don't know, you know, if you don't feel inspired, if you feel like you have artist block, maybe just get like another little post-it note, a little scrap piece of paper. Because sometimes I found this more and more true for myself. Sometimes inspiration does find me when I'm working. So just start scribbling away on that little scrap piece of paper. And maybe you'll find in those little lines you start drawing, whether you doodle or whether you start drawing like a little portrait or a little, you know, a little landscape or a city scene, whatever sort of thing you're into at the moment, maybe in that manner, uh, inspiration will find you in action instead of just sitting around wondering what to do. I think that is good advice, in my opinion. Try it sometime, next time you don't know what to do. Or, if you really don't know what to do, if you feel really bored, try doing nothing. And by absolutely nothing, I am i don't mean looking at your phone or watching a TV show. Just sit there and stare at the wall for like 10 minutes. And I bet before too long, you'll be really itching to do something. I bet you'll be less... You're, that was my phone blooped. Um, I gotta go. I gotta go. All right. See you guys later. Uh, all right. Everybody, everybody have a good day. All right. All right. Goodbye. I did this drawing for you.